Hello friends, it's the seventh day of Christmas. Today we're gonna make this cute card with the framed and festive stamp set. Now, this was a limited time stamp set, so I hope you got it. If you didn't, then I'm, also, I'm actually gonna make it with this stamp set called Marius Moments, which you can still purchase. Um, but originally the card was made with the framed and festive stamp set. Pretty sure it's not available anymore, but you can always check and see on stampinup.com. Um, welcome to the seventh day of Christmas. We've been very excited with all of our videos every day. I just sent out all the PDFs for the last um, six videos on my email list. So make sure and join my email list here in the information either on Facebook or YouTube. You can find that link. And we will get started. Now, I'm using today a, um, I'm going to start with a basic white thick card base. So that's always a good place to start when you're making a card. And this, this is called the Scallop Contours Dies. So this is a great set of dies to make card layers. This is just a full, full front card layer. Love it. I use this one all the time. And we're going to pop that down onto our thick white base. Now, <clears throat> we're going to learn something new today, hopefully. You, ha you have seen... Oh, let me do something first. Pull that up. Um, we're going to jimmy our ribbon through this... The holes on this so that we can tie a pretty bow so pull your ribbon this is the um, white organza glitter ribbon it's so pretty at this time of year so we're going to set that aside for a second while we do the next step of our card so you're going to need a rectangle of the I have to look up what it's called. It's called Fitting Florets Designer Series Paper 161814. This is a while supplies last designer paper, okay? It's got cool, fun florals, but also a lot of neat patterns for Christmas. So if you're if you're like, oh, I didn't order any Christmas designer paper, but you did order this. You've got some ready. You've got this pattern. You've got this pattern. So um, stay tuned to the end. I'll show you a couple more cards that we made with that. So this is a fun thing that you can do with your designer paper. This is pretty in and of itself, but we can use our blending markers to plus it up a little bit. Now, I will tell you, our blending markers were made for coloring on our cardstock, not our designer paper. So you need to use a very light touch. And what I mean by that is normally I would go to the very edge of my berry here if I were stamping, if I were coloring this on cardstock. But you're going to fill in just to the edge and it will bleed out to the edge. So just let it be for a second and, and watch and you'll see that that blending marker will bleed out to the edge. I'm probably exaggerating it a tiny bit here just so that you can see it on the camera. I can always go in and touch up in a minute. But we're just filling in all of our cute little berries with real red. Okay, so we're getting that super cute. Now, because this is an evening evergreen background, it's really not that big a deal if your real red bleeds a little bit. So don't stress about that. Just get some red color in your berries. But I just wanted to emphasize that when you're coloring designer series paper, be aware that it is more porous. It will soak up more of that. Um, well, I guess it's less porous. It will the the mar blending markers will bleed just a tiny bit more. So just be aware. Well, let's go back and see where we need to go in and add. Gosh, I think I did pretty well. There's only a few little baby spots where I could pop in and add a little bit. Um, 
and the paper is already colored enough that it actually makes it look like you used light and dark markers, but you didn't, okay? So that's pretty cool. Anywho, oh, we forgot one. He was hiding. So you've turned a gorgeous piece of designer paper into a stunning piece of designer paper with just your blending markers, okay? Fantastic. All right, so we're gonna, oh, see, it bleeds through very quickly. It looks like Valentine's over here. So we're going to pop this on. Now we're gonna tie this. Let me stick this here since I've already put adhesive on there. And we're gonna tie this bow over here on the left. Now, these, this card was designed by Rhonda Wade for my pretties team. So our team gathers every month and makes four pretty cards. Now, believe it or not, one of the perks of being on our team is that you get to make a card class every month for only $5, okay? Um, we make card classes every month at our team meeting, so it doesn't sound much like a meeting, does it? It's super fun crafting time. We swap, we trade we have tons of fun but this is one of the cards uh in the class that we made using the fitting florets and we were able to order this like forever ago so we made these a few months ago i'll show you the other cards that we made we made one that said noel we made this cute little snowman card and then this wonderful card with the frames so um if you're not on my team, you need to consider it because it is the best way to get my the most fun from my business. So let's pop out this stamp that says together is the merriest place to be. And that's gonna fit perfectly. We need a real red ink pad. And we will, now you can see I've put this on my stamp and Pierce mat, and that is because um, we want to have really good contact with that photopolymer stamp. So you want something that's, you want this foam mat or something squishy underneath your stamping area when we're stamping with these um, photopolymer or see-through stamps. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, now we're going to pop that up with dimensionals. Boom, boom. And then we're going to put on a very cute detail. So our fitted, our framed florets stamp set is still available. It matches that designer paper that I showed you. And the dies from it cut out all these cool frames. So many cute things. The dies cut out images from the designer series paper, but also we have this cool frond die that we are using on this card. So we've cut out um, a cool evening evergreen frond, okay? And this would get lost here if we didn't do something to it, so we're going to do something to it. I like to put a couple glue dots on. And then tuck it behind, well, come on, glue dot. It's cold today. It doesn't want to work. And it's going to pop right here and just twist around. But we're going to make that really pop with our red rhinestones. So grab your take your pick tool and your red rhinestones. Or you could take clear rhinestones and color them red, whatever you've got. And you're going to pop those you can see this frond has a little berry section on it so you're going to pop one of these red rhinestones right in all those cute little berry sections isn't that fabulous that just really makes the whole card pop and um makes me just want to start singing christmas carols i don't know about you so grab a christmas sentiment set Get some of the 
fitting florets designer series paper and you can make gobs of these cards in a hurry this is the stylish shapes dies an indispensable set of dies for your crafting station all right so make sure and check out all my other 12 days of christmas videos sign up to get the email our adhesive bundles are five dollars off so you can get all the great adhesives um, in the bundle for five dollars off during the 12 days of christmas you just need to message me about that we've got um, a special ordering going on for just my customers for every $50 you spend online, you get a free set of blending markers. And don't forget to fill out the door prize form. We're going to uh, draw for a prize every Friday at 2 until next Friday. Okay, have a great weekend. Bye.